uh, sometimes when you get a hook and the eye is bent and it doesn't close all the way that can give you a big problem but it's not necessarily worth throwing the hooks away if you if you can't really tighten it down or squeeze it with some pliers and close that gap or you're afraid it still might have a sharp edge that's going to cut your line let me show you a quick and easy way to take care of that now snelling the knot always really helps that because you're grabbing the shank of the hook and not and not the top of the eye but in this case if we're tying to the top of the eye that's where the problem comes in so here I've tied the hook to the top of the eye the problem comes in when the knot swings down and potentially gets stuck or cut in that in that band right there so a quick and easy way to get that from to keep that from happening is to take some of the the air hose that you use for your bubble maker and just cut a little piece off of that then what you do is you just thread it onto your hook now this is a heavy gauge hook but it, it it does work. Get it over that eye. Best as you can. And that'll keep your knot from sliding back to that gap. You go catch a fish. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.